What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video and today's video I'm doing another top 10 city tweak video for you guys. So all the tweaks that I mentioned in the video will be down below in the description as well as the sources that you'll need to add to get any of these specific tweaks. I've also added timestamps in the description. So if you're not really interested in a tweak that I'm currently talking about, you guys can obviously just skip ahead through the video. So before we start the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. So the first tweak we have today is called copy key. So what this allows you to do is if we go to my text message right here and you originally would copy a text, we would obviously just tap and hold on to it and then you'd have to double tap. And if you're typing something, it can sometimes just get really annoying or just get in the way of it. So um, you guys see right here on my at the bottom of my keyboard, we have this new option right here. So whatever I just copy, I can just tap on that and it'll paste it. And we can just keep tapping on that so it can paste it over and over. And this can become really useful if you're writing like an essay or like just writing something, a big paragraph in like your notes application. So make sure you guys go check out this tweet called copy key. The next tweet I have for you guys is called settings wallpaper. And what this one allows you to do is, is change, um, actually get the wallpaper on your home screen or your lock screen in your settings app right here. So you guys see, uh, if I go to my home screen, I have this cool little wallpaper and it's also in my settings application as well. So you guys are going to be able to select from your lock screen or home screen wallpaper. And then you have the option to enable the blur if you want that. And you guys can set it to auto. And right now I'm using the dark mode feature on iOS 14. So that's why everything looks kind of black right here. I prefer that over just the light mode. So uh, just pretty cool tweet that you guys should go check out called settings wallpaper. The next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is called Mitsua Forever, one of my favorite tweaks of all time. It's actually been updated on iOS 14 on A12 devices. So um, what Mitsua Forever allows you to do is, is get a visualizer for your music application. So it's compatible with Spotify and Apple Music only at the moment. Hopefully more um, other music platforms in the future. But as of right now, it's only those two platforms. So you're going to be able to get this visualizer um anywhere on like your lock screen in the app or even on like your notification center which is awesome so if i go to the next song you guys will see we have a visualizer so there's different types of styles you guys can select from so uh, if we go to my settings real quick you guys are going to be able to see that we have the lock screen background home screen spotify lock uh, lock screen notification apple music so i was using spotify for this and then you guys can enable the style um, so we have the wave bar line dot in Siri. I don't know what Siri is, but uh, my favorite is most likely probably the bar one. So and you guys can also change like the number of points, how big you want the waves to be. There's just a lot of customizations with this application or with this tweak. So one of my favorite tweaks of all time is Mitsua forever. The next tweak for you guys is called a dual clock. And what this one allows you to do is get uh, more than one clock on your lock screen. So uh, once you guys enable this tweak, you guys can change like current locations. So right now I have Sydney and Tokyo. So if I go to my lock screen, you guys are going to be able to see we have two different clocks. So if you want multiple clocks on your lock screen, you are going to be able to do this. Um, so we have the Sydney one, uh, Sydney right there on the left and then Tokyo on the right. And you guys can obviously change the country, how you want it to be shown, if you want to show like the AM, PM, if you want the 12 hour or the 24 hour clock. So a lot of customizations with this tweak called dual clock. The next tweak for you guys is called Media Bar 14. And this is very similar to a tweak that I reviewed in the past called Media uh, Progress Bar. So uh, when you play like a video or any music, so I'm gonna show you guys right now, I'm gonna enable the tweak and I actually do need to respring it real quick. So if we play a song real quick, you guys are going to be able to see at the bottom, we have a little progress bar as well as it shows you guys like the name um, and the title of the song right here, which is awesome. So I'm going to play this place again and you guys are going to be able to see right here. And it obviously works in other applications as well. Uh, if we go to any application such as Twitter, you're going to be able to see that as well, which is pretty awesome. So you guys can go check this one out called Media Bar 14. All right, so the next tweak for you guys is called Spectral. This is a, another Music City tweak. And what this one allows you to do is get a whole completely redesign for your music player on your lock screen right here. So you guys see we have this new look right there, kind of like a circular look. And we have this progress bar that goes around the circle. And there's actually a visualizer, um, which I think I just disabled in the settings application. But this is a completely redesign for your lock screen player. So this one's called Spectral. The next tweak for you guys is called the force bar. And what this one allows you to do is 
you're going to be able to uh, force application to show the status bar or if you don't want application that shows it, you guys can disable that as well so you have two options right there for example most like games that are landscape they don't really show the uh, status bar so if you want to enable that you're going to be able to force you can force it using this tweak you just have to toggle it on right here and then uh, turn on a specific application or if you want it to be on all applications so if you want the status bar for every application you open you're going to be able to do that with this tweak called force bar the next thing we have for you guys is called double today and what this one allows you to do is is get the widget right here on your app library so um, i don't really use this um, feature on ios 14 so if we scroll all the way to the end originally we would have like that app library but it's going to show you guys all your widgets once again uh, just like if you were to swipe on the left side so um, pretty cool feature to have called double today the last one for you guys is called flash notify and what this one allows you to do is it gives you a notification if you accidentally enable your flashlight i do this all the time where i'll just it will automatically just turn on my flash right here and then um, I won't even notice it on for a while. And obviously, if you know, if you leave on your flash, it does reduce your battery, or drain your battery quite a bit. So um, after 30 seconds, it's going to give me a notification saying that my flashlight is on. And then you guys can also have it where it reminds you when your phone is charging, have a delay there, or you can have it auto shut off, which uh, this is probably a feature that I should probably turn on. So maybe after like a minute, it will automatically shut off um, as well as give me that notification as well. So um, very useful tweak. Um, where you guys see right here, we just got the notification. Would you like to turn it off? Um, so awesome tweak you guys should get called flash notify. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys did just one. I know the tweaks that I showed you guys in this video were nothing too crazy. They're just very simple tweaks. Don't worry. Once more or new ones that are released and updated, um, you guys can obviously check out my other videos on my channel. I have a ton of top 10 city tweaks. So like I said, uh, they'll all be down below in the description or you guys can just find it on my channel. So if you did enjoy this video, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys don't miss a video. That's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.